Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use multiple option buttons in user form in Excel and VBA. So let us move to Excel application and create a basic table and user form to understand the usage of multiple option buttons. So here you can see that I have already opened the Excel application. Let's create a new workbook. So press Ctrl N to create the workbook and press Ctrl S to save this file and just give the name as user form with multiple option button buttons. make sure you have selected the save as type and that is excel macro enabled workbook dot xlsm extension click on save button now you can see that uh, this file has been saved let's uh, rename the sheet one so we'll give data now let's quickly uh, create the table over here so first of all column that is a name and then gender let's expand this little bit more and this the last of column would be marital status in this particular table uh, we have only three columns one is name then gender and marital status so uh, gender and marital status would be option buttons so we will utilize two different groups one is gender and one is marital status and we will discuss it okay so let's uh, quickly format this table now we need to insert a command button let's go to developer and in control groups just click on insert and in activex controls just select this command button activex control just draw this okay just click on properties and change the name cmd show and the caption would be show form form okay let's close this come out from designing mode so now uh, we have done with the designing of table and inserting and command button over here now let's uh, open the visual basic application window so to do that just click on developer tab here and under code group just click on visual basic application button so once you click on visual basic application button you will directly jump to another application uh, that is microsoft visual basic for application here we need to insert a form so let's click on insert menu and use your form okay so let's uh, quickly design the form so as i already told you that we have only three different fields one is name one is uh, the another is gender and the last one is marital status and there would be one uh, submit button over here so let's quickly add a label for name okay and then text box so this is the text box okay let's copy this label paste over here and this would be for gender so uh, for gender we need uh, three different types of option button one is uh, for female then male and the third one will be unknown so let's quickly insert three different option button so resize this just copy this and paste over here this is the second one again paste and this would be the third one okay Let's copy the entire labels and option buttons and replicate the same for marital status. Okay. Let's add, drag this little bit lower. Okay, so we have done with the controls. Let's insert the next control that is command button over here. So that would be here. Let's reduce the size. Okay. 
so now we need to set the format of each and every uh, controls whatever the controls we have taken here so first of all let's align this so can select this all the levels go to format align left okay and reduce the size right just select all these option button option button related with the gender let's go to format align then term uh, top and then again horizontal spacing make equal same uh, select this the marital status and go to format align then top and then horizontal spacing make equal so now we have done with all those controls and uh, like labels option buttons and command button let's change the properties of each and every control including user form so first of all uh, let's select this user form click on properties and this is the properties window here we need to change the name of property and provide the caption so the name would be uh, let's select this frm form and the caption would be data entry form okay now select this label the first label and the first label is for name select the second label is for gender and the third label is for marital status okay so now we're done with the labels let's select this text box the name would be T txt name now it's done let's select the first or uh, the gender the first option button and the name would be opt female and the caption would be female and this the second opt male and the caption would be male and this is the third then the third would be opt unknown and the caption would be unknown okay so we have done with the gender let's quickly change the properties for marital status the first option would be opt single and the caption would be single just reduce the size select this second one this would be opt married and the caption would be married okay select the last option button for marital status change the name opt other and the caption will be other so we have done with these controls like marital status as well so let's select this make this left aligned select each and every option buttons format and then what horizontal spacing equal same goes for this one the gender format this is this one okay now let's change the the name for command button one so that would be cmd submit and caption would be submit so here in our example we have two different group one is gender and another is marital status if we do not provide a valid and different group name to gender and marital status then all these option buttons will behave like they are from the same group okay so to understand it better let's run this form because as of now we have not provided the group name so let's click on run and now we can see that this particular form is in running mode okay so first of all let's select the gender so i am selecting male here now i am just going to select the married under marital status so you can notice that either i can select any of the option button and this is happening because if i am selecting male then it like the marital status we can't select because all six option buttons 
are from the same group because we have not provided any group name to marital status and gender and this is why it's happening okay so uh, to tackle this problem we uh, need to assign the gender group for these option button like female male and unknown and marital status group uh, to these option buttons like single married and other so let's close this form go to the uh, select all this female male and unknown and go to the properties and in properties you can see that there is a group name here so just give the name as gender okay now select the marital status all these three go to properties window and give the group name as marital status so now we have provided two different groups let's run this form and see how it's behaving so now i am selecting uh, gender as male and marital status is married now we can select uh, it is because all these groups like all these option buttons are falling in different group let's close this okay so uh, we have uh, done with the designing part of this form and basic understanding of option button let's start writing the code to manage multiple option buttons and transfer the data from this but this user form to data worksheet the data table basically so let's double click on submit button so now let's write the code just create some room we are not going to declare any separate sub procedure over here we will utilize the same sub procedure like the click event so first of all we need to declare a variable so deem i row as long so we will utilize this variable to identify the next blank row available in our data table so let's identify the next blank row the code would be sheet one because we are utilizing this particular worksheet sheet one dot range and here we will utilize a column and then rows dot count it will provide the total rows available in our worksheet then and and we are just going upside and then we are identified the row number which has been selected then plus one okay so it will return the next blank row in our data table okay let's start with sheet one and end with okay so let's quickly write the code here we are not going to apply any validation if you want to learn how to apply validation you can watch uh, our separate tutorial uh, that is on advanced user form or data entry form okay so dot range and for employee name uh, we are utilizing a column and i row dot value is equal to me dot txt name dot value okay this is for employee name let's transfer the gender okay so so let's write condition if me dot opt female dot value then dot range and gender is available in b column i row dot value is equal to female okay let's copy this this code and replicate it for male and unknown so let's change the option button name so that would be option opt male and here the value would be male and this is opt unknown and the value would be unknown So we have done with uh, the coding for gender let's copy the entire code for gender and replicate it for marital status okay first of all let's change the reference the option button name so that would be opt single and the second would be opt married and the third would be opt other right 
and now the marital status is available in C column so change the reference C column and then here C column and this should be single this would be married and this would be other so now we have done with the coding to transfer the data like name uh, gender and marital status let's write the code to uh, reset the controls so let's copy this this line of code first let's put the comment and this would be blank let's copy this line of code let's drag this again male this is for option unknown let's copy single here married and then option other now we need to make it false so let's false copy this and assign it to each and every line of a statement so now we have done with the reset let's send the confirmation message data successfully so now we have done with the code let's go to debug and compile so I think we are not using the correct name over here let's move to form and this is I think we have spelling is incorrect and this is married it's okay go with this go to debug done so everything is good let's go to worksheet sheet one here we need to call this uh, form on cmd show let's click on cmd show and click event and here frm form dot show now done let's save this move to excel and now we have done with the coding so let's click on show form uh, let's dilip kumar gender is male and marital status is married let's click on submit so now you can see that uh, it has started showing the lip male and married let's transfer one more data x y g we do not know the gender unknown we do not know the marital status other let's click on submit okay so now you can see that it's it is working perfectly so uh, this is all about how to use multiple option buttons and with two different groups in a user form hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye